sometimes you need to create quick summary totals in a worksheet. In this worksheet called Single Criteria, as we look at the data here, you can imagine the question popping up, how many contract people do we have here? How many full-time people do we have? We want to know this information. There's about 300 rows of data here. Sorting isn't going to help us that much. It'll pull them all together, but we want some quick totals. There are three interrelated functions, COUNTIF, SUMIF, and AVERAGEIF. They're very similar, but work slightly differently. To get a quick count, we want to use COUNTIF. Now, maybe we want to put this information temporarily in column F. The COUNTIF function, just based on its wording, you could probably sense, pulls together the concept of counting along with an IF function. It isn't strictly an IF function, but it uses that kind of logic. So a different way to state this might be in English, if an entry in column B equals contract, then let's count it. We we'll use that as an example. So where are we looking? We're looking in column B, comma, what are we looking for? Two ways to do this. We might, within double quotes, put in what we're looking for. Now we can do this with numeric information, but first time look here, we're looking at contract. We're looking to see how many times this appears in column F. 78 times. We've got 78 contract people here. I've got a list over here of the four kinds of statuses that we have here, so maybe to make this a little bit more expansive, instead of using this, why don't we simply refer to half time over here, then we'll both copy this up and down. So we got 36 half time people. We saw earlier it was 78 contract, 20 hourly, drag this upward. So what we've got here is four bits of information. Just looking at this one for the moment. We're looking in column B, and how often do we see what we currently see in H1? In other words, how many full-time people do we see? 162. But it works out pretty nicely. If it is a text entry, refer to it within double quotes as we first saw, or by cell reference as we saw it this way. Now, what if it's a numerical entry? Equal count if. We're looking now in column C. I doubt if you really want to find out who is here exactly 10 years, but if you did, you could click column C, comma, 10. And I don't know if there are any, but we'll find out. 16 people have been here 10 years. I think more likely what you'd want to be able to do here is to pick up a range. You notice off to the right, I've got this indicated here just for reference. Suppose we want to know how many people have been here more than 10 years. Here, we need to actually embed this within double quotes. Double quote greater than 10. Double quote. 146. So different ways to use this, and I think you can see how fast this is and how straightforward it is. Now, the companion function to this, the first one is called sum if. We might want to know, after having found out how many contract people there are here, how much their salaries add up to. The sum if and average if functions start with the basic concept of count if and then extend it into different kinds of information. For example, we're trying to find not just how many people are contract. We've got that part nailed already, comma. Now I'm just going to click on cell H3 here to pick up the word contract. Now we're about to say every time we find someone who's contract status, comma, let's go into column D grab that salary, and keep adding these up. Or in other words, how much are we paying these contract people? And sure enough, if we wanted to get this for the other list, we could either copy that downward or change the reference and so on. So the sum if function has three arguments to it. Starts off in the same way that count if does. Here's where we're looking. Here's what we're looking for. In this case, contract. Let's go to their salaries and add them up. I'm just going to copy this downward, make it a little bit simpler. Now, of course, what's that referring to? That's the hourly people. What if we wanted to know the average salary of the hourly people? Instead of sum if, we use average if. The average salary of these hourly people here is 28,000. And once again, in both cases here, of course, we could be looking at different criteria. But the functions play out in similar ways. I actually use average if a lot more than sum if. Average if is relatively new. It was introduced in Excel 2007. The others have been around for a while. So these are good functions for tabulating information, typically out of a database kind of list of information. Count if, sum if, and average if.